In this video, we're going to show you how to blink an LED using an Arduino Uno. First thing I'll do is get a new simulation circuit. Then I will name it. Blink LED with an Arduino. I'll go back to the simulation view and we start with a breadboard and I'm going to move it over a little so there's room for the Arduino and I'll hit components plus and scroll until I find the Arduino Uno. I click it once, it's attached to my mouse. I click it again, it drops it. I'll close the components window because that's all we need for now. And you'll notice there's a little window right here that says code editor, or button. If I click on this, it opens up the code editor in 123D circuits. And you'll see that there's a bunch of code already included in the file. To make an LED blink on the Arduino is very simple. I can just click upload and run or start simulation. Let's do it. And there we have it. An LED is blinking. It's very, very simple to get started with the code that's already built into every file. I can explain how this works. If we look at line three, it says int LED equals 13. This is us giving pin 13 a name and we're calling it LED. And then we have a loop that says digital write make LED high delay 1000 milliseconds, which is 1000 one thousandths of a second. So wait for one second then digital right LED low, then wait another second. So that's why the LED blinks on for one second and off for one second. If I wanted to make changes to that, let's say I wanted it to be every half a second, I could make this 500 milliseconds and 500 milliseconds, and I could hit upload and run. And now you see the LED blinks twice as fast. I could make it so that the LED is on for two seconds and off for half a second by making this say 2000 milliseconds and then a delay after turning it off for 500 milliseconds. Let's try that one. So now it's on for two seconds, off for half a second. On for two seconds, off for half a second. So it's very, very simple. I'm also going to show you a little bit more of how this works. So the LED that's stuck to the Arduino itself is connected to pin 13. We don't have to draw any wires. It's already connected. Now, I can add another LED to pin 13 next to the Arduino, and let's do that now. I'll stop the simulation. I'll hide the code editor. I'll click on the Arduino, and I'm going to actually rotate it and move it up a little bit. And you'll notice that we don't have any power connected to the Arduino. The Arduino in 123D circuits powers itself. It's as if there's an imaginary USB cable connected to it. That's how you're programming it and that's how you're giving it power. So to get an LED, we'll hit Components Plus. We'll scroll. There's an LED. I'll put it here. And we're going to want a resistor. There's a resistor and I'm going to click the R key and rotate it, and connect it like so. Now I'll hide the components. And we know that this is the LED's cathode. This is the negative side. So we're just going to connect this to ground. And I like to color code things. So I'm going to make it black. And then we know that this is the anode, which is the positive side. So the positive side of the LED goes through this resistor. And then if we put a wire right here to pin 13, now this LED is connected just like this LED. So let's try it. I'll press start simulation and both LEDs light up. It's not very bright, but we can make it a little bit brighter by changing the value of the resistance. Let's go from one kilo ohm to 300 ohms. There you go. It's very simple. And if I wanted to take this code and use it in a real Arduino Uno, I could go back to the code editor, I could select all, I could copy it, 
and I could take it into the Arduino IDE and paste it in and program a real Arduino and it would work exactly the same way. So there you have it. It's very simple to blink an LED with 123D circuits. We'll follow up this video with a more advanced video of how to fade an LED in and out. Try it for yourself in 123D circuits.